Joined by Ken and Jess Hess. Uh, when it comes to good barbecue, Ken, we'll start with you. Uh, what do you think the secrets are to very good barbecue? Listening to your wife and doing what she suggests. <laughs> Not true at all. <laughs> um, I think for us, the key has been using all wood and charcoal not using propane to use it. Um, we get here at six o'clock every morning to start cooking. And you know, it's harder that way. It's harder to shovel out ashes every day and deal with the grease and everything else. But we feel like that labor of love comes through in the food. Having barbecue here in Lynchburg for County Smoke, why was it important to build some roots here and build the brand? Huh? Well, my first barbecue contest ever in 2002 was here down on the river, down about where Water Dog is now. Uh, back when downtown wasn't even, I mean, it was all abandoned warehouses and I had no idea that Lynchburg would be our home. But when we moved here for our oldest daughter, when she got into college at 13, uh, our two little ones have loved the schools they've been in. We've loved the community we've met and everyone else. So when it was time for us to open our own business, we felt like Lynchburg was where we could build a home and make a reputation for having a quality product for our community. Jess, it looks like business is going well. Things are expanding here. What have the last six, seven months been like building this uh, County Smoke Barbecue? Exhausting. <laughs> uh, balancing act, but um, it's been really energizing. I think we've had a really wonderful response from the community. Um, we've grown much faster than I think we ever anticipated which can be a little bit scary, yeah. um, but it also you know, feeds some excitement and keeps us motivated to keep growing you know, at a reasonable pace, um, but probably faster than we, we had originally thought. I mean, we've already outgrown this building that we moved into last week. Uh, when we went seven days a week, we've already outgrown it. I mean, we had outgrown it back We had outgrown it back in August before we ever got it open, yeah. so. When it comes to barbecue and, and knowing how much product is the right product, not, not poundage wise for pulled pork, but adding brisket or turkey or sausages, what is the good combination of products to offer you think, Ken? Well, I think everyone expects pork in Virginia. I mean, that's clearly a, a staple of Virginia barbecue. Virginia history was always pork, whole hogs. We with traveling and doing lots of different barbecue spots around the country, We've added some of the regional favorites that either we worked at, like I worked at Big Bob Gibson's in North Alabama. That's why we have the smoked chicken with the Alabama white sauce. Um, we have friends in New York who have a wonderful brisket, Billy Durney up in hometown. So we model some of our stuff with Virginia rubs and sauces and product to make a quality and a Virginia experience. Not just, we're not just a Texas barbecue place in Virginia. We're trying to bring different regions of barbecue and everything else to Virginia and the Lynchburg community. When it comes to marketing the product, uh, you've had a really good uh, partnership with Liberty Athletics on the radio and some other things you're trying to do. Uh, why is that important to, to give back and to get the word out about County Smoke? You going first or me? <laughs> you can go first. Okay. I think one of the things with Liberty is that obviously it's a very large university. It's such a huge population here, but also the way that we give back to the community, the way that Liberty gives back to the community, Every day when we have leftover food, we send it to either a halfway recovery house, a, uh, a, a home for the needy. So those are the things that we believe in. So we feel like the partnership with Liberty Athletics gives us that same symbiosis of believing in the same goals and, and trying to achieve those. But we also like seeing all the athletes that come, the students that come. I mean, we just put out a lunch for 30 people uh, over at Liberty Housing. So that that's important to us that you know we're helping to feed our community through our sponsorship with Liberty Athletics as well and it's not just the main items there's great fixins as well so what are some of the popular ones that you have mac and cheese is definitely the most popular My favorite as well. yeah. <laughs> um, we just added collard greens uh, after New Year's we did yeah. uh, black eyed peas and collard greens and collard greens became a, a regular staple um, very very popular right out of the gate um, our blue cheese and bacon slaw is one that's really unique that some people maybe you know they're not so sure right off the bat and then once they try it they're like wow i didn't even know i needed this in my life so um the, the stuffed potatoes are great too yeah. uh, they're huge um you know it's a great meal for a student too like you could get two or three yeah. meals out of it yeah. and since we deliver now you know uh, we remember being poor college kids as well so yeah. <laughs>